I'm Professor Ryan Lister from the Harry Perkins Institute of Medical Research and the University of Western Australia. The human brain is the most complex organ in our body and the most complex structure that we know of. Our brains contain many billions of cells and a huge diversity of different cell types, each with their own specialised functions. But it takes a long time to build, with brain maturation continuing to the third decade of life. Through this long process, our cognitive abilities emerge, grow, change and advance. Think of the enormous differences in what an adult can do compared to a child, toddler or a newborn. Underpinning these advances are complex changes in the cells of our brain as they migrate, grow, communicate and form and refine connections. Crucially, this requires the correct control and timing of gene activity, and failure of this happening correctly underpins many neurological and psychiatric disorders. However, before now, there's been a huge gap in our understanding of gene activity and what controls it in the brain between birth and adulthood. Our new research provides the first detailed map of how gene activity changes in each different type of brain cell in the prefrontal cortex as we develop from pre-birth through to adulthood and the cellular factors that control this. This gives us the first reference map of how these complex changes normally occur. This is important because without a map of the normal processes, we can't properly understand how something goes wrong in brain disorders. By having this map of normal brain cell development, researchers will now be able to identify altered states more accurately in neurological and psychiatric disorders or aberrant cell states in diseases such as brain cancer. Various disorders commonly emerge at specific periods during development, such as autism spectrum disorders in early years or schizophrenia in the teens sometimes. The common timing of such emergence will have a cellular basis, so we can now identify disrupted processes, when they normally function during development, and which specific cell types they occur in. This new fundamental understanding of how our brain cells change at the molecular level throughout development is a really valuable resource for future research. It'll help to better understand brain disorders and to develop improved models of brain cells in a dish for modeling diseases and new drug discovery.